never like the one you do. Do see me with the crew. I gotta get some food. I see you looking like you do. Had to make a move, make a move. Tell I gotta glow. In a Jimmy Joe's, break the rules. No, you're not a fool, but I'm in the mood. The street code as we know it today is gay. It's homoerotic, okay? You niggas is on some homoerotic shit, man. Now, if I may, let me explain, okay? This is another video by Nate Almighty, a.k.a. the Global Dark Skin Ambassador. All right, now, look. We're going to use common sense, okay? We're going to use common sense, and I'm going to compare this to an ancient culture that we know of as the ancient Greeks and Romans, and we're going to compare how dudes in the street now, right? Not all dudes. So for all you sensitive dudes, you know, your gang members, you know what I'm saying, who want to be sensitive when I speak on this, because this don't include every single gang member, but it does include majority or at least half. And suck my dick now. Suck my dick now. If you really feel like you're going to get in your feelings about this, and you might be who I'm talking about, right? Right? And you pushing that energy, like, you know, like, you know what I'm trying to say. Like, you trying to push that on me because I'm talking about you. But the street code as we know it today, and maybe it's always been gay and homoerotic, okay? This is how we're going to get into this. Let's explain what the street code is, right? The street code is a bunch of men, right? who come together for a few common goals. And the common goals is, one is supposed to be for money and power, right? These days, it's almost never about money, right? Which makes it even easier to be viewed as gay, right? Because once you take the money out the equation, this is really about chilling with a bunch of boys and men all day. You know what I'm saying? Playing the pause game. Right? <laughs> right? Hugging each other all day. Right? Beefing over blocks they don't own. Right? Beefing with other men. And it's all about just looking good in front of other men. Right? Now, if I was a gay man, wouldn't I want to look good in front of other men? I'm not a gay man, by the way. But let's, let's be real. That's exactly how that would be, right? So that's already a similarity between quote-unquote straight dudes in the hood and gay men. Now, this is by no means going at gay men at all. This is about making comparisons and helping some of these men and boys who may be on the down low, right? To understand what they are, okay? And for the guys who don't understand how it looks to people like me, to realize that you have the opportunity to switch things around, okay? Now, this is all gay. Gay acting, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is it really about, okay? I have issues with these men, right? This man violated my boy. And we talking about this could be before murders even take place. This man violated my boy. So to impress my boy or the group of men who I be with, right? I'm going to take it upon myself to go to another neighborhood that's not owned by the people who I'm beefing with, right? And shoot at them, right? Kill them. Just so I could look good in front of my friends, right? Mind you, eventually the feds catch up with all these dudes and dudes end up snitching on each other anyway, right? Looking at 10, snitch to get five, right? This is gay. They hugging each other. A lot of these younger dudes now, I mean... 
I can't say I can't say for the Bronx because the Bronx and like Harlem, New York City in general, we party a lot, right? We party a lot. We dance on girls a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what we do. But in certain parts of Atlanta where I've been in the club, certain parts of South Carolina where I've been in the club, right? The girls are just dancing on each other or dancing around dudes. Dudes are either dancing with each other or they standing around staring at each other. Boys staring at boys, which is also something gay men do, okay? Now, let's give a ghetto history lesson, okay? And let's talk about let's talk about the ancient Greeks and Romans, okay? The ancient Greeks and Romans, we all know that they kind of was like at the forefront of like the gay stuff, you know, just being openly gay and, you know, you know, similar to, to the direction that America, <laughs> you feel me, is going in. They were pretty open with, um, with, uh, mentors mentoring younger boys and, and, uh, indoctrinating them into the lifestyle. And, and some of them will have wars where, you know what I'm saying? If they catch you, they're going to rape you. Man, woman, and child. Which is of the alternative lifestyle. A lot of these dudes who are warriors together and all that. They have wives, families, everything. But when they go chill with their boys, they are sleeping with each other. Okay? This is well documented you can easily go on YouTube, Google, <laughs> your library, whatever. You will find documentation that the ancient Greeks and Romans, right? They slept with each other. The warriors slept with each other. They was all about being men and, and loving each other and fighting together. And they believed that you truly understood a man. By penetrating him. How much more of this do I need to say? You know what I'm saying? Um, where we at today with it? Dudes are literally killing each other, right? Beefing with each other. Just so they could look good in front of their mans. No money involved. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at all the federal indictments that's going on with a lot of these younger gangs and stuff like that. It's literally all violence. There's no drug rings going on and nothing like that. They're not trying to get no money. They're trying to kill each other so they can rap about it and look good in front of other men. Y'all trying to tell me that's not gay? All this stuff is a, is a moment from being gay. And like I said, if you live that lifestyle and you live in your truth, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? But if you on it down low and you hate who you are, so you killing people that look like you, I have a problem with that. I have a major, major problem with that. You know, like, it's not cool. It's really, like, not cool. It's not lit. It's not popping. So here I am saying, hey, if you're younger than me and you're in a gang and you've been having thoughts, feeling like this may not be the right way to go, act on those thoughts, man. Your conscience is telling you something. Your spirit is telling you something. Also, I'm saying, pay attention to a lot of your most violent friends, okay? Chances are a lot of your most violent friends may have been molested at a young age, may have been mishandled as a child by people who were taking care of them. You understand? And, that, and thus, they may be on the down low and they fighting them urges, right? Right? They hate the men who may have molested them at a young age and every person who they beefing with, every person who they shoot, 
they may be seeing that person's face. So in their mind, they killing that person over and over again. You know, it's a it's a funny thing with a man and and being molested. You know what I'm saying? How does a man truly feel like a man if his manhood was taken from him? His innocence was taken from him by another man, especially when you're black and you live in a community where everybody feel like they too good to seek therapy. And also in black and white communities, OK, the uh, the people who assault these children often are protected by the single mothers who are sleeping with these men because these men help bring the bacon home okay we are living in a crazy world all right it's getting closer and closer to greco roman times you know but i'm gonna end this by saying the street code is gay like share comment subscribe peace